Alright, hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a Booktube, Booktube Rereadathon 2018 wrap up and 2019 TBR. So, in case you haven't already heard, uh, Alex Black and a few other people have kind of revived Catalyst Reads Rereadathon, which is great because uh, he's no longer a part of the community, but it was a great thing to do. I think they've even got in touch with him and got his permission and stuff, which is also very nice. I'm very happy with this. So, what I wanted to do first off is uh, go through the challenges of the 2018 reread a thon and let you know how I did and then we'll move on to 2019. So for the 2018 reread a thon, it's a bit of a mouthful, the challenges were for January, reread your favourite or one of your favourite standalone books of all time. Reread re re your favourite book that is a part of a series. So for each of these there were multiple options and I basically picked one option for each of them. I also reread re them all via audiobook as well so I went for uh, my favourite book that is a part of a series which is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. It's arguably my favourite book of all time. There is uh, There are reviews for each of these I think below so I'll link to them in the description. I won't waffle on too long but uh, definitely read it if you haven't. And we have February, reread your favourite book you read for middle school, high school and college slash university etc. So I picked up The Sign of the Four, uh, my copy is just The Sign of Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This was my introduction to Sherlock Holmes and it used to be my favourite Sherlock Holmes book but then after rereading it I didn't enjoy it as much and I think now that honour goes to uh, The Valley of Fear. Number three, for March, reread a non-fiction book, autobiography, and a memoir. So I read Chronicles Volume 1 by Bob Dylan. Don't be fooled, there is no Volume 2. But this is basically Bob Dylan's autobiography, essentially. And uh, yeah, it's really interesting. He talks about like Woody Guthrie a lot in it. A, a lot about the different uh, literature he read as well, actually. For May, reread a book that is a guilty pleasure. So for this, I went to... Wait, hang on. April, reread a book that confused you and or had mixed feelings about. So for this I went for The Shining by Stephen King and I must admit I still have mixed feelings about it. So it's just not my favourite of his books but it was the first one of his that I read and it kind of put me off him for a bit. And then I picked up another book later and then got hooked. But even on the reread I enjoyed it more than I did the first time but it's still nowhere near my favourite of King's. Uh, May, reread a book that is a guilty pleasure. So I went for The the Paradise Snare by A.C. Crispin. So this is book one in the Han Solo trilogy of what I guess is Legends now. Uh, the old Star Wars expanded universe. And uh, yeah, A.C. Crispin died a couple of years ago as well. It was very sad. I didn't know she was Anne as well. She was Anne Crispin. Uh, June, reread a book that you hate or felt disappointed by. So I went for Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf and I was pleasantly surprised. So I always used to list this as my most hated book, uh, partly because I had to read it for uni and I had to listen to an audiobook to get through it. I couldn't really like get into the, the written version. But this time with no pressure on it or anything, I actually really enjoyed the reread and um, now I want to reread some more. I want to read some more Virginia Woolf. July, reread re a book written by a woman, reread a book by an LGBTQIA author and reread a book that has a theme of diversity, so race, ethnicity and culture etc. So I went for Harper Lee to Kill a Mockingbird. I must have reread this between a half a dozen and a dozen times at least now. It never gets old. I still love it. It's still a five out of five star book, and you should definitely read it if you haven't already. August. Reread a graphic novel or manga, comic book, short story, and a poetry book. So for this, I ended up going for The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, which basically just because I couldn't find audiobooks for, <laughs> for like any poetry, and obviously you can't really do it with comic and manga and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I went for The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. What can I say? Enjoyed it. September, reread a horror book, a classic novel and a self-help book. So I went for Dracula by Bram Stoker. And again, it's, I actually bumped this up from four stars for my first read to five stars for this read. Did a review for this as well. And uh, I'll probably read it again this Halloween. I don't see why not. October, reread a romance book, reread a science fiction book, and reread a fantasy novel. So I went for I Robot by Isaac Asimov, and I did a review of this, I believe, as well. And actually, this was another one that I bumped up from four to five stars on rereading it, because there were just so many layers to it and like lots of predictions, and it's just arguably more relevant than ever before, you know? This is where it all went wrong. So then for November, it was reread a controversial problematic book. And for that, I have Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion. And I'm still listening to the audiobook of this. I am enjoying it, though. I just uh, haven't been doing my walks, basically, which was when I, I was trying to read my audiobooks. So, yeah, i got to finish this one off. I'm going to finish this one off in January along with the other January 
book that I'll let you know about in a minute. And then for December, it was reread any book you want from any genre. And I wanted to reread The Stand, didn't get round to it. So this has made it into next year's lineup as well. So that brings us on to the 2019 challenges. So I'm going to read out the challenges and let you know which books I plan to read. So for January, reread a book that was a first for you. So bearing in mind, I also need to finish The God Delusion in January. I thought I'd take it easy on myself and go for Attack of the Mutant by R.L. Stein. And this is my first ever Goosebumps book. So February, reread an underrated book. So for me, I'm going for, it's actually specifically within this. So this is Dracula's Guest and Other Weird Stories by Bram Stoker. But specifically, I'm going to reread The Lair of the White Worm, which I do think is, uh, you know, it's underappreciated. Everyone just focuses on Dracula. March, reread a book that someone recommended you or buddy read a book. So I'm going to reread The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I actually read after being recommended it multiple times as a buddy read. April, reread a book set in a different world or reread a book set in a different country slash culture. So I'm going for Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett. You uh, might want to get used to this because I'm going to be reading a few of the City Watch books. May, reread a book from a genre you don't read as much anymore. So I don't read as much comic fantasy anymore. So I'm going to pick up Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett. Uh, J June, reread a series or a book from a series. So for this, you'll see where I'm going with this in a minute, because I did Northern Lights last year. I'm going to do The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, book two in that trilogy. July, reread a book by your favourite author. So that would be Feet of Clay by Terry Pratchett. August, reread a second chance book, something you DNF'd, something you didn't like, something you had mixed feelings about, etc. So I'm going to read A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, because I just didn't particularly like it when I first read it. So... Yeah, I might give it a go via audiobook and see what see what I think about that. September, reread a book that is labelled for below your current age group. So that would be The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman, the third book in the trilogy, and that's because technically it's a children's novel. October, reread a book that made you cry or made you emotional. In brackets, emotional doesn't necessarily mean sad. So for me, I'm going to go for Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski. Okay, then for November, reread a book written or set before you were born. So this is where I'm going to go back to the stand and try and do the stand. And then for December, reread a book you associate with a holiday or reread a holiday book. So I'm going to reread The Tommy Knockers because I read that in Amsterdam for the first time. This is actually from a bind up of Carrie and The Tommy Knockers. So yeah, there we have it. My voice is starting to go from all that, but that's where I got up to with the 2018 rereadathon and my plans for 2019. So hopefully I can get that all back on track and finish off my rereads in January before I fall behind in the first month. So on that note, as always, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Let me know if you're participating in the rereadathon as well. Hit that like button for more. Uh, uh, sorry, no, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.